All right, John, so this is um, a neck turning. Um, this is a piece of brand new Lapua brass. It's been actually neck size and expanding mandrel. Um, and then I'm going to come in and go ahead and I'm just trim cutting it. As a matter of fact, most pieces of the brass are not cutting all the way through. I'm just taking the high spots off. Um, and if you look, uh, some brass will, will be all silver, others will be maybe 16% silver or the polished area. Um, it's pretty fast. And so what I'm trying to do is get consistent neck tension um, in this area right here. So um, I'll cut over to a piece of brass that's already been done. And what you see here is uh, a dark area that where it hasn't been touched and only the highlighted areas where I've actually skimmed a little off. The idea is I don't want to take too much off because I don't have a, a super duper custom chamber or anything. And all I'm trying to do is get consistent material so that I get nice um, consistent releases with um, uh, the neck tension. So here's a piece of brass. As I move it, you'll see the numbers jump. Now remember, uh, the number that we see the five, that is, you know, hundreds of a thousandth of an inch and really doesn't even shouldn't matter. Only a dial indicator can actually be honest there. So as I'm turning this, um, you can see that it ends up in the same spot. Now the, the numbers are jumping as my fingers touching it, but it is incredibly um, consistent in terms of thickness. Now this gauge me measures thickness and again for the, the bushing I'm going to use. Um, what I'll next need to do is put it on a concentric uh, gauge like this one here and I would use the same uh, digital piece uh, normally but as you can see uh, now this is really sensitive to how I touch it and turn it but I'm getting uh, this is for run out now and I'm getting if I use this correctly oops you can see it jumping around I'm getting um, well about a thousand one thou of runoff um, if I if 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 I position my hands correctly, and I'm having a hard time because I'm actually not doing it correctly. See my hand how it is? Uh, typically, you'd make sure that you had consistent pressure as you were turning it with two hands. But since I'm trying to give you a, a little bit of an idea, there's more consistent pressure. You can see how steady it is. Um, and that's right down there in the neck. Uh, that's amazing. So that's why you want to get this uh, 21st century uh, little lathe. And again, uh, you could probably even get, well, I can't really get better results, but you could get... Uh, you, you could neck tune them all the way to a specific chamber, but that's not what we're after. We're after the thickness of the brass along the neck to be exactly the same between uh, case to case uh, in that fired batch. And, uh, and that's it. So I'll upload this to YouTube, and uh, we'll talk later.